Okay guys, welcome back. This is Miss Lopez again. Today we are going to be comparing fractions. And the two fractions that we will be comparing is one half and three fourths. We want to know which one is greater than, less than, or if they are equivalent. Now some things we should know about fractions is a fraction fraction is equal parts of a whole keyword being equal another word that i just used was the word equivalent equivalent means the fractions will be equal both fractions would be equal. So again, um, I said we were going to compare one half and three fourths. We want to know if they're greater than, less than, or if they are equivalent. So again, because these are the two cards that I grabbed, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite those again. One half and three fourths. I want to know if it is greater than, less than, or if they are equivalent. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to draw fraction circles. So I'm going to draw a big fraction circle for the one half, and I'm going to draw another fraction circle for my three fourths. Now for half, I'm going to split it right down the middle because that would be half. And for my fourths, I have to make sure I have four equal parts. Again, equal parts. It is not a fraction if it does not have equal parts. Now we have our numerator and our denominator. Our numerator will always tell us how much I have shaded in. So for one half, I have one shaded in. For three fourths, I will have three shaded in one two three now just looking at my fraction circles i can pretty much see which one is greater than the other one which one has more shaded in so right here if i go right down the middle half i can see i shaded in half of my circle if i do the same thing for three fourths half did I shade? I shaded in a little bit more than half. So I can already see that three fourths is greater. But we should be able to compare not only using fraction circles, but now I'm going to go ahead and do fraction strips. When we do fraction strips, same thing. We have to make sure they are as equal as possible. So right there would be my fraction for one half and then I would have right at the bottom my fraction for three-fourths again I'm trying to make them as equal as possible I tell my students that if we are doing fraction strips we have to make sure we start the same and we end the same if they do not start the same or end the same that means they are not equal and we cannot compare them so now again, I'm going to shade in one half and then I'm going to shade in three fourths. One, two, three fourths. Again, I can still see that I shaded in more on three fourths. Again, I love to label. So please make sure you are labeling everything. Again, here I can see that three fourths is greater. The last thing that I want to do or that we should do to check which fraction is greater than, less than, or if they are equal to, um, I love to do number lines. And just like I mentioned before, when we do number lines, just like we do fraction strips, we have to make sure they start the same and they end the same. If they do not start the same or end the same, we cannot compare them. Okay, in a number line, I always start with zero. 
and because we're doing fractions we are going to end with one whole and our denominator will always tell us how many parts we have so for one half I have two parts just like I had two parts in my fraction circle I had two parts in my fraction strip in my number line I should also have two equal parts one two for my three-fourths I will have four equal parts so again making it as equal as possible one two three four equal parts now we have to label always label because i know i have two equal parts i know i'm dealing with halves so this would be one half and then one whole equals two halves here i have four equal parts so this would be zero fourth one fourth two fourths three fourths and then one whole which equals four fourths now I can go ahead and look at where I have both of these fractions. So one half would go all the way up to there. And then three fourths would go all the way up there. So I can see where do I have a greater distance. Is, do I have a greater distance in one half or three fourths? Again, three fourths is greater than one half. What I love about number lines as well is you can tell some fractions that are actually equivalent. Again, equivalent means fractions that are equal. So looking here at my fraction of one half, what can we see that is equal to one half? And because these are starting the same and ending the same, I can see that two fourths is equal to one half. Um, another way to look whether these fractions are equal is if we have one whole strip, let's say this is my one whole, I should also have two pieces because I know that one half plus one half one half plus one half would equal one whole. Now, if I get my fourths, because again, we were comparing one half and three fourths. One, two, three, four. You can see that they are all equal. So I know that one fourth one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth again equals one whole so i know that one whole is equal to two halves i know one whole is equal to four fourths i can always go back and compare it again we were comparing just one half and we were comparing three fourths if i go ahead and pull these together which one do I have more of? Do I have more yellow or more pink? Here you can see I actually have more yellow. So three fourths, again, is greater than one half. Okay, guys, that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.